Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one right here is for Shameless. Season 1, Episode 4. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Tell a friend to keep telling a friend that the algorithm is on point. Alright. <laughs> Wasn't sure if you are done. Uh, just one comment from the last episode from Executive Producer Amber who says, Another great reaction. This one is one of my favorite episodes in the whole series because it introduces two of my favorite characters on the show, Mickey and Mandy Milkovich. Mm. I know that they both seem rough, and it's true they are. The Milkovich family makes the Gallaghers look like a normal, typical family. They may take a bit to grow on you, but believe me, they will. Okay. I know that all the names can be so confusing at first. Fiona's the oldest, and she's with Steve. The cop was Tony. Then there's Lip or Philip. Then Ian, our redheaded sweetheart. Carl, who is a bit unhinged but is so funny. The little girl is Debbie, who often gets overlooked. I think Carl's the little brother that was melting dolls at me. Mm. Um, losing Ginger was heartbreaking for her, and you'll see the effects from that for a while. Then sweet little Liam is a baby. One of the things I enjoy most about this show is that it pushes the boundaries of right and wrong so well. Just when you think they can't push more, they end up surprising you. Excited to see, or excited for you to continue. Okay. Uh, thanks, Amber. Let's jump into the next episode right now. Superman costume, two years old. Any information would be greatly appreciated. No questions asked. Why the fuck wouldn't we ask questions? <laughs> because we want people to feel safe. How do you find out what happened if you don't ask questions? You, you understand the premise, right? People feel safe, they give information. We find the kid safe, my ass. I'm asking questions. Oh, okay. Ask fucking yeah. questions. No, That's what ahead. you do. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you uh, yeah, sure. Do. Okay. Casey's Casey's questions. Questions. Uh, last What's Liam doing here? It's not Liam. Who the hell is this kid? I don't know. Fiona dropped him off. There's a child still missing, approximately two years of age, and wearing a Superman costume. If you've seen this boy, he's fucking gallows. When I was a kid, we could go to a birthday party, and our parents wouldn't worry that we were gonna get stolen out of the front yard by some perp. That's when America had those still yapping over here. Walmart. Okay. Walmart. The caucus, peanut butter and jelly Cut. in one jar. You know, you're too young to remember this, but there was a time when policemen were respected, when young men wanted to fight for their country, when you could go vote twice for This guy better Dallas just shut up. Like... Before some liberal pricks elected a Muslim who isn't even American? 
We need to get your story straight. Please. What did you find his mom? Did you find his mom? And his mom wasn't around. Did you try to find his mom? No, he was crying. Nobody cared. So I took him. You can't say that. What's wrong with you? Hey, Finn, you know what that's? Was he inside or outside of the yard when you grabbed him? Inside. Okay, so how'd you get him out? I waved the Snickers bar at him. Did anybody see you? <laughs> She's like giant stealing children so with candy. Down the street. I used a stroller. What stroller? William's old one. The one I told you to throw out? I fixed it. For emergencies. I uh, fixed it. Oh, <laughs> uh, leave now. Is this that missing kid? <laughs> now I can figure out how to keep him back without getting her dirty six months of juice. That's not missing kid! There must be a couple hundred cops out there. I know. I'm so sorry. Will you watch him for a second? Come on. Daisy, we're gonna play a couple games, okay? I'm not sure what's going on with her. Oh, maybe it's because your mom bailed and Frank's a bit drunk. Oh, and I'm the asshole now? She's the one who stole a baby. Right, look, she obviously planned it. I mean, she took a stroller out of the garbage and she fixed it. All right, hey, Debbie still is a little kid. Worst thing that happens is she gets some help. Help? What kind of help? She stole a baby. She's not crazy. She just sort of accidentally took a kid. All right, not if she lured him out of the yuck with a candy bar. What are you suggesting? Like, some kind of professional. Wait, what, a shrink? Gallagher's do not do therapy. Well, you gotta stop talking like that, first of all. What Gallagher's do and don't do. Mm -hmm. Talking about individual what human beings. To get that boy back to his family, or family services is gonna have to build it. Family services? If they find out Frank's moved, they'll take the kids, split them up. Remember what happened last time? <laughs> wow. No. Shit. Exactly. <laughs> That was a government head of the to that payphone and start yeah, with Leo. Yeah. yeah, he went to Get on your bike, go to the payphone, and call the police. Tell them that you saw a little boy walking down South Port Avenue at 2.45, okay? Why should I? One being in a children's home until you're bored. Can you call my name? Has a climbing wall? Carl? I don't have a bike. Mark, there's a junk drawer. Oh, still one. <laughs> now y'all do some more crying. All right, got it. I'll let you look around. Fiona, you guys it's have to get that kid back. I would like to make that happen. Fiona, you have to, or else we're all fucked. Oh, okay. Why do I have to do it? Because we've already told the police we didn't know anything about it. I'm not a good liar. You can do this. I'm not. You always say so. All right, hey, you know what, Debs? It's been hours, and Casey's parents are probably really worried about it. Remember that pie you wanted to make? Let's do that tonight. What do I have to do? I saw a little blood walking down Southport Avenue at like 2.45. 45? Yeah, 2.45. Asshole. No, sorry. That's how you walking down Southport. I was walking up Southport Avenue when I saw a little Casey. Yeah, you didn't know his name. A little boy. Yeah. All alone. All alone. And crying. I asked her where her mom was. Not her. Oh, um, I asked him where his mom was. And she didn't know. He seemed upset, so I gave him some chocolate. Good, Debs. You're doing great. All right, Veronica, when do you go to the cleaners, ask Mrs. Bernard Bell to use the phone in the back? He's a cold bitch. I've got to do that, okay? Don't worry about it. Hey, Mrs. V. I need your phone really quick. I got some green bird for your black home, huh? I saw a little boy with a Ooh. Superman suit walking down Grand Avenue. Well, what time was that? About 15 minutes ago. And I thought maybe this is the little boy everyone's been talking about. I'm sorry, uh, Spider-Man suit? I didn't say Spider-Man, I said Superman. He had a cape and he was walking with a little girl. And you describing? So I went to the phone outside Connie's Pizza to call the police. Yeah. Yeah, what about it? Nothing. Good. My car's paid off. You giving me advice is ridiculous. Give me a goddamn. You just lord it? You're a cop for Christ's sake. Fiona, what a pleasant surprise. Thank you.
Is she ever coming yet? <gasps> I can't stop thinking about what his parents must be going through. I know. Hey, she got the wheel with bags on. Um, <laughs> do you want a drink? I've got a lot of booze. No mixers. A cup of coffee would be great. Uh. Why don't I make it? She, you know she's just here for her alibi, babe. I accidentally took three of my pills instead of one. Mm. Hey, wait a second. Hi, mister. He was walking all by himself. Yeah, she gave me a... Uh... Uh, here. Uh, here, take, take all the Take all the Thank you. We could use that, though. <laughs> Making it rain! We should start taking the babies more often. Save the day. Those are losers. Hey, you got a beer, man. That's done. No, I you're putting my hand. Alright, I am your father. Hey, Jeff. Good job. Tony, you want to come with us, please? Where? We need to take Deb to the station. What for? We need to take a statement. Well, she, she found him. I mean, isn't that enough? We need a statement. You couldn't stay with her. You're a steady companion. What I'm trying to tell you is that I have never seen her love anybody, I mean, anybody, or anybody as much as she loves you. Mm -hmm. Including my daddy. No. Uh -huh. No. Ooh, yeah, honey. She loves him. Mm. Mm. I'm not burying your daughter. I just... Oh my god, is he about to propose right now? something. How did you get so drunk in the middle of the afternoon? Monica Fisher, will you do me the honor of being my wife? Yes! Yes! Oh. yes. I love you. I first saw him on South Fork. He caught my eye because my baby brother Liam loves Superman. Look how good she's doing! He was very good luck. Very well mannered. I thought for sure someone would let me use their phone. You know, I'm just so shocked at the lack of humanity. Yes, I have a coat. I remember Grand Avenue for my next year. Oh, shit. You may require you to wear a jacket and tie like that. Sure. Find it very special. She may need some questions. She's lying for the good, babe. Aw, she's gonna go get her baby doll. I mean, the man on point would be nice. Yeah. Happy ending. Yep. You missed a good pot roast last week. My mom really uh, pulled out all the stops. Yeah. Sorry about What's so great about Debbie finding that little Casey? Yeah, I know. Fucking was her not so crazy about her. <laughs> Making new teams. Oh, thanks. They didn't cheer me up as much as I hoped. I also so fucking weird. I wish I'd been kidnapped. Stop that. Yeah, you should have seen my breakfast. I can't imagine what dinners are going to be like. Well, in fact, 
as soon as he gets down to the bottom, I look back and there are all these people behind us. Yes. And I start yelling, go back, go back. Why? <laughs> because he stepped off of the thing and he just stopped there. And there are all of these people. Oh, thank you. Look at your boy. Yeah, I'm just trying to stop Never gonna get him out. Man, but the daddy though, the daddy is 100% out of me. What? I'm thinking. Yeah, well, I happy endings. Casey Kasdan, a little boy who disappeared from his own front yard earlier today, has been delivered home safe and sound. Well, thanks, Lisa. That is indeed great, great news. Yeah. What you get in my house, man? What's up? I got the one that cries like a motherfucker. Yes. Good Oh my god! For me? Absolutely. No lady like a badge of a newborn. <laughs> <laughs> You know I love you guys, right, Kev? I couldn't raise these kids without you and Faye. I know they buy my shit all the time. I'm sorry, I know it's late. Thanks. I'm not to do it you guys, and I just love you so much. I'm just so happy for you both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that Yager Master really makes you chatty, right? You know that. Yeah, uh, she is. She is getting a little tipsy. Look at me. Isn't she beautiful? She sure is. This is Papa. What the hell is that? Got one here. Daddy? Oh, she bought it with the money. Oh my gosh, did she buy it? It's our new water heater. I got it on sale. I'm trying to live He said because I'm a hero. Yeah, because I'm a hero. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Wow. Yeah, I love it. 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 Yeah, I love Because I'm already married. Oh shit. What's the marriage in love? Who the fuck is he married to? Woo! That sucks. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Alright, that was episode four of Shameless and man, let the drama ensue. That ending right there, I love it. I'm here for all the Jerry Springerness that we can do up in this bitch. But it's another great episode. Uh, I like the heist, kidnap, bring it back. I mean, it's almost superhero level. The team that they ha the have assembled. Mm -hmm. um, they can totally be outlandish with this. They, they can make a movie with the whole family and just do a whole bank robbery. And, and, and get it popping. You know, it's just that good. And then, Deb came through at the end. And as sweet as she is... Knowing how to stack that bread, keeping track of it in her little book. Noah ain't scared to make these calls either. All up in the yellow pages, which I don't, even, I don't know when this was, because that shit don't exist no more for, for, the, for the most part. But she got a hot water heater uh, on point. And, uh, and I thought I thought uh, other dude was going to get it. He was going to buy the water heater, because you know, Fiona kept saying, I wish I could have a hot... Oh, Steve. Yeah, Steve. But she, he, Steve didn't have time to go get it. But Deb did, and and that was very very cute that she did. Um, still psycho tendencies, not psycho, but like you know, I don't even know what you call that. What you Amici. call that? Crazy, crazy tendencies, <laughs> crazy tendencies uh, for her coming up. But at the end of the day, she did a great job with it. Even talking to the police, she was just she acted like she didn't even know what she was gonna say. But then she got up in there and was just like, 
Silver Tongue, all day. L love the episode. Great episode. I I let the drama ensue, and I'm here for all. Love you. Can't wait to see it now. Yeah, I thought it was a great episode. I love the heist aspect. I loved how they even incorporated like the chapters, so to speak, of the steps of the heist. Uh, I thought that was an added element we haven't seen in the show yet. Um, so the fact that they're uh, willing to do like creative, creative ventures like that, I think is really cool. But um, absolutely showcased again the talent of the squad as far as how they are with scheming, like to pull out this whole plan. And I think uh, Lip had a big part of that. I think he is extremely genius level smart. Um, and I love that that's part of the Gallagher family. So I yeah. really enjoyed all of that. It's effing crazy with a... Uh, with, uh, old dude moving back in the house with his wife. Also, the daughter is psycho. Like, yeah. what are you trying to do? Yo, that like, that, that shit is there. just not okay. And that almost, situation. and very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. I'm just like, ew, stop it. It is totally a comedy situation um, going on. That, that would be a comedy movie right there. Um, but I love, I mean, the definite highlight of this episode, and I love the way that it was paced from last episode with, you know, Ginger getting sent back. And Debbie being super upset and then Debbie escalating because she's super upset to the situation that happened today to her being the hero at the very end. And I like the hero theme with a kid wearing the super cape. Oh, it was just so well written. There, I really appreciate the attention to detail that that all went into. Um, but I will say, yes, the drama as far as Kev and Veronica, I'm here for all of it. I didn't see that playing out. I thought he was just feeling like, he just did it because he was drunk, because whatever, but there was reasons yeah. why he hasn't done it up until now, and this is the reason why. Wow. And what does that mean? Is he living like... It doesn't seem like he's it's still... It's like maybe he did a... It's probably be a little twisty twist where you know, you know, maybe he got married to like a, a foreigner, right? Just give her a green card. And he can go over here. Or he got like married that. to somebody and he just left her and they haven't dealt with yeah, it. Yeah, they haven't dealt with it, yeah. Um, something, but something he never... But the, the thing that's problematic is that he hasn't obviously told Veronica yeah. about it. And now what your whole Mary, you've been married this whole time, which is the problem. So yeah. we'll have to see how that plays out, but I'm here for all the drama. Another great episode. I feel like I would absolutely binge the shit out of this show. So I'm glad it's in rotation. And I just ask that you guys keep it there. So great show. Can't wait for the next one. Alright well look thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Shameless Season 1 episode 4. And until next time, peace.